I'm going to recap the upsets in Division One Women's Basketball in the NCAA tournament that happened yesterday. And it was actually the first two games. First of all, the 9th seed Miami, Florida is going to their first Elite Eight in women's, in women's basketball in history. All right. I mean, that'd be Villanova, the 4th seed. 70 to 65. There was a little bit of foul game at the very end. Miami, Florida was up 46 to 33 at halftime. Sure, Miami, Florida only scored 30, 11 points in the in the third quarter. 18. I mean, while well, Villanova had 18, but Villanova was down 21 in this game. They got dug themselves too big of a hole to come back and. Yes, they scored 14 points in the fourth quarter, but Miami Florida scored 13. So, yeah, for the game, Phil Nova did not shoot the ball that good. 36.5%. 23 for 63 overall. 2 for 16 on threes, 12.5%. 17 for 22 on free throws, 77.3%. 32 rebounds, 14 of those offensive, 13 assists, 10 steals, 6 blocks, 11 turns, 14 fouls. Six points off the bench, and this is in spite of Maddie Seacrest having thir 31 points, but she shot 8 for 29 from the field, but she made 14 out of 15 free throws. I mean, but Miami, Florida, they shot 46, I mean, 26 for 57 overall. For, I mean, in terms of number of made shots out of the they attempted 45.6%. 3 for 10 on 3. So they're not really a 3-point shooting team. They just get to the paint with their speed. 15 for 17 on, on free throws. 88.2%. 43 rebounds. 14 of offensive. 12 assists. 8 steals. 21 turnovers though. They need to cut that down. 18 fouls. And they did have 11 points off the bench. So Villanova has 31... Finished the season with 30 wins and 7 losses. I mean, and they didn't win the Big East tournament nor regular season, but they finished second. Runner up. Only to UConn. Now, I'll explain who Miami Florida the next opponent is later because that it occurred in the same region, actually. The 2 seed Utah lost to the 3 seed LSU. That's a minor upset in terms of seeding, but LSU was favored by five and a half. Utah covered, but LSU, LSU was down 33-29 at half. I mean, 17 points in the third quarter for LSU, then 14 points for Utah in the third quarter. But the fourth quarter, LSU 20 to 16 in, in that advantage. But I will say this about Utah. They were down one with less than five seconds left in the game. Their 75% free throw shooter missed both free throws. If you would made at least one, you make at least make LSU go for a game winning shot. Sure, I mean like at least a tie to win the game. I mean, give them the chance to win the game, but still, you didn't put any pressure on them and you didn't have to foul right away and you had, you had to, and Alexis Morris made both, and they didn't get a shot off. So, yeah, Utah for the game did not shoot the ball good. I mean, 38.8%. 19 for 49 overall. 8 for 22 on threes, 36.4%. So, here's the biggest bugaboo that's probably going to haunt Utah, besides the shooting woes. The free throws. 17 for 24, 70.8%. Like, and like I said, you're down one with less than five seconds. Make one of them. You force maybe overtime, depending if LSU made that, goes for that last shot and makes it. But at least make them take a shot and not bail them out. And then you even airball that first free throw. So if you would make both, you, you maybe you give yourself a chance to win. Maybe. But still, 31 rebounds. Seven does offensive, 11 assists, 9 steals, 4 blocks, 16 turns, 19 fouls, only 3 points off the bench. LSU had 0 off the bench. And they still won the game. It's because they shot too good from the, 
from in the field, but it's not like overwhelming, like near 50 percent. But 41.4 percent, 24 for 58 overall, three for 13 on three is 23.1 percent. They're not a three-point shooting team. They're going to just get to the rim, post up, and this is in spite of Angel Reese fouling out of the game. Game two on the on them winning. They didn't shoot good on free throws either. Worse than at Utah. I mean, 65.2%, 15 for 23 overall. On free throws, 35 rebounds, 12 of those offensive, 13 assists, 8 steals, 5 blocks, 13 turns, 22 fouls. So, I will say this about Utah. They finished the season 27-5. They shared the Pac-12 title. But they couldn't win the they didn't win the Pac-12 tournament. So now the the three teams that either I mean like shared the Pac-12 regular season title and the one who won the Pac-12 tournament, they're all out. Hmm. Go figure. And Colorado even lost yesterday. So that is just crazy to me. And LSU, guess who they're going to play next? It's that team that defeated Villanova, Miami, Florida. Oh, the irony. But I will say this. That game will be played at 6 p.m. Central Time on ESPN tomorrow. And I'm, I'm going to have to warn LSU on this. If you kind of make miss your free throws again like you did, Miami Floors get out free throws. They're gonna make them. I mean, it might hurt you. It almost hurt you in this game against Utah. I mean, I'm just telling the truth. Anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. I see you guys later. Five subscribers, we're on the road to it. Let's go.